Good evening, everyone. Pirate Scum Gaming here. Tonight, I will be covering the support colonization DOF assignment chains. They are a series of seven missions for each of 14 different nebulas, clusters, and other star groups. And the seventh mission rewards a free duty officer. That's right, I said free. The initial assignment chain rewards a free rare quality duty officer, but you have the chance for a repeatable assignment that will give you a chance at getting a very rare duty officer. Now I'm parked out here at Petran Cluster for a reason. This is the first one you should be doing. Because this is the one that will give you a rare technician to start with, then the repeatable assignment will give you a very rare duty officer. You can either get 2 of 12, which is the Federation variant, or you can get 12 of 12, which is the KDF variant. Now each of these assignment chains you're going to need certain commodities and certain duty officers for. And I'll be covering that. And now you're probably wondering, you know, what's this strange ship that I'm flying? This is the Kobayashi Maru Freighter. This was an event reward uh, some time ago. Uh, the Federation got the Kobayashi Maru, and the KDF got the Tong Duj class freighter. Now, for those of you who got this, and, or uh, forgot they had it, or have it and don't do nothing with it, well, you know, you should use it. And for other players who may have access to other ships like this, like the Tufli Freighter, the Sulaban Cell Ship, or even the Amari Class Heavy e Heavy Escort. Each of these have a contact in the cargo bay that allows you to buy commodities at a reduced price. Because you can replicate commodities to your finger falls off, but you're going to pay a little bit more for it. Why pay, so, why pay more when you could pay less? So, let's go ahead and beam aboard, and I'll start covering some of this. As we load in here to the bridge of this ship, yeah, let me uh, go ahead and list off the diff the 14 different assignment chains that you can do. You have the Eridan Belt, the Arocanus Arm, the Kazan Cluster, the Betreka Nebula, the Dekel Star Cluster, the Tong Nebula, the Aslisa Expanse, the Delta Volanus Cluster, the Afir Nebula, the Hiromi Cluster, the Eridan Nebula, different from the Eridan Belt, the Petran Cluster, which is where we're parked right now, the Rolor Nebula, and the Zenus Expanse. And now that we're beamed aboard, let's go ahead and head back to the cargo bay. Now this ship is set up exactly like the Tufli Freighter, which is an old, old ship. I'm not even sure you can get it anymore. It's basically a freighter with some amenities. A uh, quick tour here. You have your mail access, bank and exchange, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to go talk to this guy here in the corner. This is your quartermaster. This is your contact to get your commodities. And as you can see, you have a whole list of them. So, Probably asking, well, get to the point, pirate scum. What do you need for this? Well, this is what you're going to need. For each and every one of the 14 assignments that I listed, each of those each of those exploration clusters, you will need the following. Two astrometric probes, 105 provisions, eight self-sealing stim bolts, two communication arrays, 
three industrial energy cells, 30 shield generators, 15 medical supplies, two warp coils, and 12 colonists. So, let me show you something here. I have the, you see, I have the quartermaster window open. And you can see the prices that cost for these. Now let's take a look at what this is going to cost you if you use your onboard replicator. Big difference, huh? Look at provisions. 150 just on your shipboard replicator. But when you talk to the quartermaster guy over here, only cost you 75, cost you half the price. Less is good, especially when you're cranking out all those assignment chains at once, like I did. And there's a reason I'm using this particular tune tonight, is because on my main character, my KDF Noskin Pirate, you know, he's done all these. These are all done on him. So, I mean, that, you know, what's the point of using him? I wanted to use a tune where I didn't have all these done, that way I can show off and show you fine people what you need to do for this. I went ahead and did my homework ahead of time. And I kind of strongly urge you to do the same. Before you get before you start up any any of these, get your colonists and get your commodities that way they're at, at hand, ready to go when you're ready to use them. Now colonists, you probably wonder where where, we, where do I get colonists from? Do I have to buy them on exchange or I have to blow my hard earned DC? No, you don't. You don't have to blow your hard-earned DC. You can get them for free. Now, let me show you how to do that. Now, I already have this mission running, and I'm going to show you where to get it. This is the mission you're going to need to run. You're going to need to run this mission a total of four times, because you need at least 12 colonists. And each of these, each, each go at this only gives you five. So you're going to have 12 with three left over for the next one to start with. And to get this mission, all you do is go to Department Heads, Operations Officer, whoever that contact may be for you. And it'll pop up right in this list, usually under Relocate Colonists. It'll be next one under it. This mission takes four hours to run. I Okay, you know, I said close. Now, this mission takes about four hours. It takes four hours to run. And it usually pops up, you can get at least twice a day. At least twice while I'm online, while I'm doing my thing. So, I highly urge you to plan ahead. Like I said, do these uh, way ahead of a time. Keep stock up on your colonists. That way, when you're ready to go and you want to start one of these, you have your colonists ready, you have your commodities ready. And there's some other duty officers I'm going to show you that you're going to need for assignments further down the chain. So that that is going to be a quartermaster, an engineering officer, a tactical officer, and two other officers of your choice. And the trait that you're going to want on these is efficient. Is efficient. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, let me go down my list here. Let me find my quartermaster. Now, for these, you really don't need you know, a blue quality or purple quality. But if you have it, go ahead and use it. Don't let me stop you. you but you, if you have some, only have a green quality, that's perfectly fine, too. That will work. Okay, here's my quiz the quartermaster I use. This is a uh, Riemann Federation quartermaster. Now, like I said, if you have a rare quality or purple quality, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, rare quality or very rare quality that has efficient, oh, by all means, use it. The more power to you. I'm, not, I'm certainly not telling you not to. But for the purposes of this demonstration today, I'm just going to use this green quality.
You're also going to need an engineering officer as well as a tactical officer with efficient. Yeah, let's see here. Alright, I'm going to use Rutherford here. Now, I got this guy when they released the Lower Decks Duty Officer Pack. They released him for free. That's where I got him from. So I'm probably going to use him. Like I said, if you have uh, one of rare quality or if you have something of higher quality that has that, by all means use it. Okay, and for tactical. I'm going to use Kudakika. This Jemadar, he's uh, I'm going to put him to work. Cuz he is uh he is efficient. So I'm definitely going to And like I said, if you have a, any quality will do. See, I can use Omeditan, I could use Kudakika. I could even use Neil Falconer here. This guy was, a, I got him from the Phoenix box, and he was also available from an event, from the first contact event years ago. And I've had this guy a long time. And then two other officers, your choice, that have efficient. So we'll see a pot, so it depends. If you want to use, uh, dip, you can use your diplomats if you have them, advisors if you have them, uh, medical staff if you have them, uh, tactical, engineering, whatever, as long as it has efficient. And again, you really don't need the efficient trait. It's just a little extra oomph to get the assignment to uh, crit. All right, so. Enough jibber-jabber for me, huh? See, I got some, actually have some colonists ready to go for this because I did my, like I said, I did my homework. Let's jump back into space. Let's, uh, let's set one of these things up, shall we? Now here in the now here in the Betran Nebula, I've already done the first assignment in the chain. I'm about to ready to do the second one. Okay, here we go. Establish forward base in Betran cluster, mission two of seven. See, I now I have my colonists ready to go. I have my provision, my uh, not provisions, but uh, commodities ready to go. And see the colonists I have; they have all the desired traits: stubborn, teamwork, stubborn teamwork, and stubborn. Now I got this one from the last round of the um, duty officer assignment that I showed you earlier. This one, the resettle colonists. That's where I got these. Let's go ahead and get this one started. And I do fit plan. Twenty hours later, this will be done. See, it's all everything's all set. Everything looks good. So begin assignment. And we are off to the races. Now, you, now there is a way to keep track of these assignments when you're doing them. I gotta do go up your duty officer tab. And look at your assignment chains. This is where all of the missions that you have, all of the duty officer assignments, duty officer assignments, yeah, my tongue stopped working, that have multiples in, multiple assignments in that particular chain. Now, here I am at the Petran cluster. This is where we're at right now. It tells you what you get when you complete this. Unique blue duty officer on the first completion. On the repeatable assignment, you get you get a chance to get a purple duty officer, or very rare. As you see, I have several of these started, but I've never finished any of them. That's why I want to. Use, I guess that's why I want to use this too, because I knew I didn't. I knew I started these, but I never finished them. So we're going to find one that I have yet to start and see if the assignment chain is available. I may have to wait because it, you may have to. Uh, watch your sector update, because if your, because if these don't pop up right away, you may have to wait until this updates and see if it pops again. 
So it doesn't look like any of the ones over in the Kronos sector I've started, so let's head, let's head down there and take a look at that. We'll go take a look at the Aerodon Nebula. Now speaking of which, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to show you on the map where you can find each of these. Now we were just at Patran, and that is approximately north um, you had north, and then you had east. It's northeast of New Romulus. So here's where we were, the Betran, ne the Betran Cluster. Over here we have the Afir Nebula. And generally I'll do these two together. Over on the way on the other side of the map, over by Nimbus, you have the Eridan Belt. Kazan cluster, Delta Volanus cluster, right over here by ESD. So this is not a very, uh, this is not very far to go. You have the Arocanus arm right here. You have the KDF ones over this way. You have your Tong Nebula, Decal Star cluster, Aerodon Nebula, where we're going, the Aslisa Expanse. Here's a Hiromi cluster right here. Now if you're smart, you'd plan out an area you want to cover while doing these. Generally, I'll do the Betran cluster and the Ephir Nebula first, because they're right here. After that, I'll hit up the Hiromi cluster, as well as the Arocanus arm. After that, I'll hit up Delta Volanis, Kazan, and the Aerodon Belt. I'll do all three of those together. After that, I will go ahead and do the Tong Nebula, Dekel Star Cluster, Aerodon Nebula, and the Aziza Expanse all together. These are all in the general same area. And also to uh, help you out while doing this, to help you get around a little faster, let me give you a little, little hint. This is what I do. I use the Temporal Warp Core for this, because this uh, gives you a little bit faster sector speed. But that's just what I do. Now that you're at the Aerodon Nebula, let's go ahead and take a look. So this uh, first mission is available here. This is the first mission in the Aridon Nebula Colonial Support Mission. The Colony Site Survey. You need two astrometrics probes, which I have already. And here are the duty officers you need. Yeah, so I'm a science officer. I have a ton of these guys. For this mission, you need a warp theorist. Efficient and logical as is what they suggest for the crit, but as long as he's a science officer, you're still going to be fine anyway. You also need uh, a gravimetric scientist. Again, same things. And a photonic. These are all just uh, science officers. This is what you need. So if you want to uh, pause the video, take a screenshot, that way you see exactly what you need for that first mission. And like I said, this one takes an hour to run, so this one goes quick. Then you'll be set up to do that other one. The uh, the second one in the chain, where you need the colonists and the other provisions. Or... Ah, uh, what the commodities, I'm sorry. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this one started. And this will be done in an hour, and I can move on and start the other one. Alright, I've showed you the ones that are available here in the Beta Quadrant, so let's head on over to the Alpha Quadrant, and I'll show you the ones that are available for you there. And as usual, I will use one of these missions to get to where I'm going to go much faster than just sector space travel. So, see you in the Alpha Quadrant.
Welcome to the Alpha Quadrant. Now let's take a look and see where those are in this, uh, sector. Alright, you have your Betrekan Nebula, Zenus Expanse, and Rolor Nebula. I would do all these together. They're all right clumped up by each other. That's pretty much it for here. So that's pretty much uh, the Colonial Support DOF missions. And I hope you guys learned a little bit of something from this. And like I said, I encourage you to do the Batran Cluster first, only because it has that much, much sought after technician. Very rare technician. So, until next time, I hope you guys had fun with this one. I know I did. Have, I know I did. Until then, remember, don't go by the book. Think like a pirate. Good night, guys.